something that really came into my awareness was through my experience at Ferry Creek. Ferry Creek is this activist movement where people are actively blockading the logging trucks from accessing old growth forests. So it's yeah. in defense of the old growth forests. And so that's kind of like the surface level and what draws everybody there. But once I was there, I recognized that it's much more than that. It's a land back movement, which essentially means returning the land to the stewardship of the rightful stewards, which are the first nations of this country. Yeah. The first nations that existed before this was a country. Yeah. Right. And so in being there, I recognized the true history of Canada and some of the atrocities that have occurred through the genocide of colonialism. Mm. And that came with like a lot of guilt and shame for my ignorance to the true history of yeah. this land. At the end of the day, I am a, a white settler, right? And okay. so yeah. at some point in my lineage, we came over here and took over this land. That is representative of a lot of the problems that we see throughout the world. It's incredible to think that to this day, the genocide continues and it's like the eradication of a tradition, the eradication of a spirituality, an eradication of a way of life and a way of being because the white man was afraid of the power of these people because they were so connected to everything around them. That is the power. That is the power. The power is the connection to exactly. yourself, the earth. And Others, all my relations. Totally. Right? And so now we live in this settler society that is very disconnected. And it perpetuates all these different mood disorders and mental ailments that are prevalent across the board. 60% of people suffer from things like anxiety and depression. Come on, people, we're doing something wrong. We're not playing at full capacity. I was about to say, that doesn't sound like we're playing. <laughs> no, because we're so disconnected. Yeah. 